Have, when, when, count me in and then I'll just come to you. We're back, sorry about that, and Heidi uh, just sent a message saying thanks for trying guys. Uh, we really, really appreciate all your support. I know we didn't get to see the gorillas live, but it's coming, and that's the important thing. And the more we do these type of things, the more we learn, so next time we can do it do it better. Sorry, Alex is saying something to me. Alex, what is Alex saying? Becky, hi Becky. Um, yes, it's great to be in Rwanda. And Graham, Em, and I have had lots of fun. Uh, and then we've had this wonderful gentleman over here, Andrew, looking after us. So Andrew's made sure we've been everywhere on time, which is quite difficult with us. Uh, the amount of kits and stuff we carry around and tests we're doing. Uh, so fortunately, Andrew's been very, 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 very patient with us. Uh, I think you are having a bit of trouble hearing me. Is that a bit better, Jerry? Still waiting to hear. Everything's live, we're stable, so it's working. So thanks, Karen. Karen says thanks for trying. She stayed up for three a to three a.m. She didn't get sea gorillas, but it was worth it. Just think how good it's going to be next time. So we will tell you a little bit about that, uh, but probably not tonight. We're going to enjoy the the market. Uh, and a bit of uh, Africa. We might, I'm worried we might lose signal, so bear with us if we lose signal when we go back into the market. We have to come out to, to reboot. Here's those plantains again. Here's the plantains. We froze during plantain, so it's like a potato banana, is the best way I can describe it. So it's going to get quite dark inside now. Um, literally, it is wall to wall uh, vegetables. Hello, bonjour. Tomatoes, garlic, onion, sweet potatoes, normal potatoes, pumpkins, watermelon. It's just literally, you cannot understand the produce that is produced uh, produced here. And I'm, I'm going to try to sneak through there. That one actually looks a bit busy. Janelle, great to have you with us in here in Rwanda. Uh, awesome to have you here, Janelle. And I know it's not gorillas, you got, but I mean, this is. I think it's probably a, a first for us. It is a, a first. A first. Live from a market in the middle of Chigali. <laughs> it did, we've never done this before, that's for sure. It's but it's good fun. Are a on. lot of people in here. Lots and lots of people. We're this low light quite well, so you can actually see okay, quite well. Cool. It's a Saturday, Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Let's go to the fish all the way down there. We're going to try to get to the fish. Yeah, be quite careful. I don't want to knock down the piles of tomatoes. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh, yes. So, what is this? It's very hot chilies. <laughs> and then we got some peas, I think. Peas, yeah, they're peas. So, I mean, literally, it's literally anything you can find in a major market or shop in the. In, in, in the, Look in the in, in, in the first world. <laughs> Do we have a shop? Jill wants to know if we've got a shopping list. I wish, Jill. Yeah. If we were staying here longer, I like cooking. I definitely do a lot of shopping. It's ginger, garlic, onions, cucumbers, just incredible. Avo, lettuce, like four different types of lettuce, parsley. And I mean, it's. And, and you sort of got definitely sections. So you've got your, your fresh produce. Uh, now we're moving on towards sort of the beans and oil and other things. Down there is the cauliflower. 
Are we trying to get to the the the, the, the fish? Now, when I lived in Tanzania, I used to do most of my shopping in the markets. Not quite as big as this, but very similar to this. There's other fish on that side there, but there's not, you're checking these fish out. Oh, here we go. There's some barbel, catfish, and some out there. Fish? Uh, this one's for Graham. You're going to be on the back of the vehicles that you had to do a drive. Gail, if you watch the if you watch the camera work going on over here, you'll realise that we really can't have me on the back of the vehicles. <laughs> this is not my skill set. <laughs> we leave that to guys like John and Diem and Brian, who know exactly what they're doing. And David. <laughs> so now this is a this is a fresh catfish, Carinus caripus, the same species that you would have seen on Juma uh, when it was drying out, and the hyena was eating, and the fish eagles and storks. Now, not one of my favourite fish to eat. I'm not going to lie. I tend to taste a little bit like mud. Oh, what do we got there? We got some other oh, fish there. Tilapia. Yeah, tilapia. This is uh, Orin Chromis This is the Nile tilapia. 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 Nile tilapia, and there's also yeah, very fresh. fresh. Yeah. So that's how you see if yeah. it's fresh. You look at the gills. See if the gills are still moist. So this has probably been caught today quite close to one. Oh, we've got some red breasted tilapia. Now, of course, a lot of people out in rural Africa don't have bridges. So often this is how the fish end up after that. And that's actually a uh, Nile perch. So this is dried Nile perch? Dried Nile perch. And is that Capitan? Capitan, Capitan. Yeah, so it is Nile perch. Very well, how are you? How are your fish? Fishy. Good fishing today. Fish, yeah. Fish. Yeah. Fresh. Good fresh fish. Yeah. Tilapia Rwanda. Rwandan tilapia. Yeah. Good. Sorry. Oh, there's even a carp. I don't know how that got there. Oh, look at the carp. Wow. Chinese fish. Yep. Yeah. That's Chinese fish. So while we were driving down from from Volcanoes National Park, watch the hole. Um, Volcanoes National Park, we actually saw fish farming. And I say the Rwandans are great farmers. They farm everything. I mean, every everywhere is a farm. And as you can see, a really, really productive country, very fertile country, due to a lot of that volcanic ash. So, Madeline would like to know if there are any fish around, or if I got, to, I think if I got to go fishing, Graham would never let me go fishing. Never. <laughs> but Madeline, yeah. I promise you, yes. we're here to work. Gorillas is all. There'll be Gorillas no fishing. All. There'll be no fishing. <laughs> Maybe next time, Madeline. <laughs> I know there's an owl perch in the Chivu. So that's a good spot. Yeah, good fishing. But then, what, what are these over here? These are capentas. Or lake sardines. So it's a fresh water sardine. It's not really a sardine. Candy. Oh, we'll get back to the, the lake, oh, the lake uh, sardines. Candy New York wonders why there's a Chinese fish here. Well, carp are quite easy to farm. Uh, so it'll probably be from one of the aqua, aquaculture ventures we saw on the way. So it's an exotic fish and it actually can be quite dangerous to uh, a lot of the... Graham just got whacked Good. by a, throw, a piece of uh, nachi peel <laughs> that someone was walking and eating. Um, okay, well, we're going to carry on. And of course, uh, there's... You can't have breakfast without the eggs. So lots, lots and lots of eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. Sandy wants to know what we've been eating since we've stayed here. Well, Graham has eaten goat consistently. Um, we've actually had very good food. I've had some, I had some, a bruschette. A bruschette is a kebab. Uh, and so, Graham had goat, I had beef. Is that Sandy? I think it's the same question. What are we, what are we having to eat? Um, Emily had, Emily had macaroni. <laughs> Emily had macaroni last night. Um, and we had chicken and chips on the first 
Okay, so apparently as soon as we move the camera, we're losing audio. So I need to talk directly at the camera. Um, so, well, uh, yeah, beef, goat, chicken. We had a really good half chicken and chips. It's always a good one when you're out traveling in Africa, half chicken and chips. Now, the really interesting thing is that Andrew's told me, so normally you find uh, meat cooking on the side of the road all over the place, and that is not done in Rwanda. So, no, no chance for street meat, as I like to call it, which I'm a huge fan of. And uh, I think we can the market, and we might, I just want to show you one more thing, this is the taxi system here, and I think a lot of you are going to get a bit of a surprise um, when you see how the taxis are running. So of course you have normal vehicle taxis, but the most common form of taxi in Rwanda is a motorbike. So if you see guys like this, we're wearing a little red vest, um, he's, he's actually a, a motorbike taxi, and they are absolutely fearless. I, I, I definitely would not take one. Um, I don't think Graham or M would either. But they drive around, pick up single people, plus shopping and everything. So outside the markets and that, you've obviously got your normal taxis as you would expect. But there's a lot of these motorbike taxis. And I nearly got run over by one last night on my back. So crotch around across the road. And also, uh, I suppose for the Americans, it's the normal side of the road. But for us, from British descent and British, um, British areas, it's uh, cars are wrong side of the road, wrong side of the car. So it's the same system as in America or France. Uh, historically, quite interesting, it was originally a German colony up until uh, the end of the First World War. And then it was handed to Belgium. And then after that King Leopold being not such a nice man got into lots of trouble, it was then a French colony. So it's one of the few African countries that's, that's had quite a lot of different colonial influences. And it is a, incredible, as you were saying, about no rubbish in the streets. I mean, there's two back there. Well, I think we've just broke our, our Facebook Live record. 940 people are watching us in the streets of Rwanda. So we're going to keep walking. Uh, as you can see, and it's, the temperature is actually wonderful. Uh, it's a bit warmer down here. We've dropped down. But where we were at Volcanoes National Park, it was just sort of perfect. It was never too hot, never too cold. Of course, when we were climbing the mountain, it was quite hot. Uh, it, even though it was really cold. We got over 3,000 meters above sea level yesterday. So those gorillas look really high for the group we went to, the Sousa group. Um, where should we go next? Uh, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Are we going to go see what else we can find? Or unless you want to go for a bike ride. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> no bike riding for Brent. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I would even drive myself here. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's a proper hustle and bustle. I got it. I got it. There's a hairdresser. <laughs> There's a hairdresser, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So that's like Finally, the moment has come. Let us go in there and see what they do. <laughs> so, I, Lara's asking what language is commonly spoken. I just forgot the pronunciation. The language. The language. Shinya Rwanda. Yeah. Shinya Rwanda, and then also French and Swahili. English. And English, of, of course. course. English. Oh, yeah. English. So, yes, sir. And, and it's amazing, it's incredible. You won't find sort of big chain stores like you would expect. There's no massive supermarkets. Everyone's very entrepreneurial here. They've got their own little businesses. Um, and whether their business is farming or selling on the produce or, or hardware, it's all little individual businesses. So you don't have this mass sort of big mark, uh, big big company uh, takeover. So the only, I mean, I don't think I've seen one real chain, chain store since I've been here. No, I think we should go and get a beer. I think that's an excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a lot of people are worried about my hip. My hip is fine. Uh, it's fine. It's got cortisone in it. I had a checkup with the doctor. I'm not doing it any more damage. Uh, so don't worry about my hip. There's a gorilla with a beer. Ah, we I found think it. Graham has found the bar. <laughs> we have a gorilla with a beer. And of course, traffic, traffic. Oh, we're in the road. Traffic. Don't want to get run over. Again. No, I'm joking, we haven't been run over yet. So look, there we go. A go Bicycle traffic, motorbike traffic. And there we go. This looks like a bar. This looks quite like an interesting bar. There we go. There's the gorilla. Look at that. Isn't that cool? 
A gorilla with the beer. First live gorilla on Wild Earth. Yes, the first gorilla on Wild Earth. Yes. <laughs> and he's an alcoholic, not a gorilla. Okay, so we're going to go into um, the bar. Okay. Primus, which is the local Gabonese beer. I'm Gabonese, I'm confused to a wine. You're not in Gabon. I'm not in Gabon anymore. Okay, we're going to take away. It's a control here, you don't sit at the bar. Very, very civilized. You must take a seat. Okay. I think they're gearing up for a big party. It looks like there's going to be a, a big party here tonight, big speakers, and it also looks like there's cover charge. Pimus, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember my French. I love the skull. I think. Uh, one skull. Uh, what would you like to drink? Uh, Andrew doesn't drink beer. Uh, what would you like to drink? Like to drink? Soft to drink. A soft drink. So I just prefer. Tra? Pimus? Pimus. Andrew knows what he wants. So here we go. So now, one of the more incredible things is that a lot of people don't realize that there's more bamboo species in Africa than the whole of Asia. And it's Hold on, let's got to put this down for a second. There we go. And a lot of people um, build with bamboo and, and we walked through a lot of bamboo forest. And the bar is actually themed bamboo. So it looks like a bit of a bamboo forest. So very on, on, on piste with the, the, the natural surroundings. No, I think. I Can know. we still hear you properly? I, I don't know. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to hear from Geraldine. Come on, Jerry. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm still connected to them. Just can't hear them. I just can't. Yeah, well, they just decided they don't want to listen to us anymore. Oh, no, this is going to Yeah, that's fine. It's all. Oh. Oh, it's going funny. Oh, the cabling has come out. Look what's happening. Literally just happened this second. Oh, yeah, is that? Wow. Having a, a, second, ca a second camera issue. So, Graham's trying to figure that. That's our behind the scenes camera. Oh, it's toast. Toast. Yeah, look what happened. It's toast, apparently. That's not good. When, when, when camera equipment is called to toast, it, it's generally no, not a good. Not now. It's yeah. got it. Oh, it's fixable, but not now. But yeah. when, when, when camera equipment is called toast, it's not a good. And they don't believe in serving small drinks. Do you like the big one? Just the big one? Yeah, the big one. That's the small one. Is there a smaller one? Yeah, let's get the small one. Well, at least we'll sleep well on the guys on the airplane. So, um, how long before we have to be at the airport? Yes, that is a good question. From here? Yeah. Just yeah, 15 minutes. Right? Oh, it's 15 minutes, and what's the time now? It is 4 o'clock, and we've got to be there. 4 to 5. 4 to 5. So we've got 45 minutes. minutes. One, one beer. beer. Yeah. So, it's been wonderful, guys. I don't know. It says I'm still connected, but I can't hear them. Jerry, are you there? I think we might have to sign off and just... Oh yeah, Jerry's back. So Jerry, do you have any questions there? So it's quite loud, there's music playing. Jerry. Here we go. That's still a larger bear than you get in most places. Yeah. Jerry, you there? We are live, we are live. There we go. Alex 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 has taken over and in the very forceful voice said, You are live, you are live. Cheers. Uh, cheers, cheers. Now everyone out there says it feels awesome uh, to have a beer with us. It feels like yeah. you're sitting in Rwanda cheers, with cheers. us. Thank you. Uh, and well it's great to have a beer with you guys too. 
very refreshing. All that cameraman coming in for beer. Cameraman, the cameraman needs beer as well. Just waiting to have. So guys, it has been great. Uh, we're going to have to start maneuvering towards the airport at some point. Uh, but I think we'll take one or two more questions before we finish our Don't do as I do, do as I say. That's the general rule. <laughs> so everyone, you have to be able to have one with us. Well, the ability to. Oh, but it's said It's said Yeah. Oh. Is that a prank? In, in a house. Mr. Loser Group is one of the more famous groups. Um, How do you spell that? Oh, 